According to some sources on the internet, both these old lenses are radioactive. And I have a few more lenses like this, so I thought it was time to buy a Geiger Muller counter and see just how radioactive my lenses are. Now, it's important to say this is a serious subject that needs to be treated seriously. Before buying and using radioactive lenses, I did quite a lot of research about their safety, and I've been careful about how I store them at home. Now I've got the counter, I'm going to share my tests and findings in a series of videos, describing why lens manufacturers introduce radioactive glass, looking at the different levels of radioactivity of some popular old lenses, and considering what the experts say about the safety of radioactive lenses. I'm also grateful for the inputs from my daughters, who have both studied radioactivity as part of physics courses. Let's start with the Zenitar M50 f1.7. I'm curious to test this lens because there are some conflicting views about its radioactivity. Apparently the glass includes some lanthanum, and lanthanum can have small traces of radioactive isotopes. However, some people say that the lens is not radioactive at all. So let's see what happens, firstly at the front of the lens, and then I'll try the rear of the lens. I'll cut out around 30 seconds after the start of the video, as the counter slowly increases from 5 counts per minute to 18 counts per minute for the front. And now for the rear element, and you'll see the counter fluctuating between 17 and 19 counts per minute. Well, assuming the counter is working properly, it is picking up some radioactivity, more than in the room here. So now let's try it on the Carl Zeiss Jena Pancolor 50 f1.8, the version that has thorium in its glass. Oh wow, it's definitely working. Come and have a look at this. Dad, it's gone over 100 counts per minute. That's not good. Is that dangerous? Look, the alarm is ringing. Well, I guess we're going to have to evacuate the building. Simon, that's not funny. You can't keep this lens. But it's one of my favorite lenses. From what I've read, unless you sleep with the lens or eat it, and you keep it out the way as I've been doing, it's not dangerous. Who said it's not dangerous? Where did you read that? People on photography blogs. I read a lot about these lenses before buying one, and they said it's not dangerous. But I know you've got to be very careful about but these But Dad, things. what do they know? They're just old men like you. Maybe it doesn't matter to you if you get cancer from the radiation, because you're old. But it does to us. No, that's not fair. It does matter to me. But we're all exposed to radiation one way or the other, like the radiation you get from flying in a plane or even from food. And despite this, I've still lived a long life, as you point out. And look at this. If you move the counter just a foot away from the lens, the reading goes right down. I don't want you to use this lens. Look, I'm keeping it in a metal box as far away as possible from all of us. And I only use it occasionally. Dad, I don't want this lens in the house. You can always buy a proper lead line box to store it in. That'll mostly stop the gamma rays. Simon, you need to sort this out. Dad, I think you should go upstairs. I think she's about to throw the lens out the window. 